I think so. Hey guys, Tim with Great Lakes Flying Outdoors. And today I'm heading down to the south side of Chicago to go fish some canals for jumbo perch. Now, my buddy calls jumbo perch anything over 11 inches. He ranges uh, as far as big perch, uh, 11 to his biggest being about 16 inches. He's actually won a couple tournaments. Uh, he's a really good perch fisherman. So I'm excited to go see how things go. You know, throughout the day, he said we're gonna be dodging barges. We're gonna be blowing around the wind. It's very cold out. Um, this is a super cool area. It's very old, a lot of industry. Uh, amongst all the barge traffic, we also have just really cool old steel mills that are around. Uh, factories, big crazy old bridges. So I mean, for me, this is a completely different experience. It's a total industrial area, and I'm used to fishing, you know, pretty clean waters of Lake Michigan. I'm fishing uh, inland rivers, mountainous areas, things like that. So I've never done, I've never targeted perch like this before, and I've never been to such a unique spot. So uh, let's kind of see what happens, and hopefully we can get some big jumbo perch in the boat, and um, you know, kind of take in the sights as well. So sit back and enjoy the episode. Got one? Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's nice. Definitely on that ten inch mark I'd say. Ah. Oh, there we go. This one feels okay. Nah. Little trickster. So the technique I'm using uh, utilizes a drop shot rig and I'm just working the weight off the bottom, just barely lifting my rods. If you can see it, it's so subtle, just lifting up and letting that weight touch the ground. I'm trying to keep in constant contact with the bottom, almost like an anchor. The reason for that is because the perch bite really lightly. So there you go, you see the, the uh, weight just bouncing off the bottom and you see that action of my marabou fly. It looks really, really good. I got a little UV uh, tinsel on there. It's a fly I tied. Uh, you can use white tube jigs. You can use basically anything live bait. Um, but we just work it off the bottom. We either drag it or we drop it right down um, off the side of the boat. But you want to just use that weight as an anchor so that when the fish bite, you can feel that extremely sensitive bite. Because you have gloves on, you have no dexterity, you can barely feel it. It's one of the lightest bites I've ever felt. But then you'll reel up uh, between 11 and 11 plus fish 11 plus perch on there so um that's the technique we're using that's what it looks like in the water and it's extremely um it just oh man it works so good this time of year so throughout the day we were doing all right catching we'd get into some big perch and then the wind would blow us around um my buddy jared was working the uh trolling motor up front and um doing his best he could but there's about a 15 mile per hour wind with 20 uh, mile per hour gusts and then we had to deal with barges and they were really invasive in the sense that they would kick up dirt, they move really, really fast, and they're just a dangerous thing to be around. He's go hey Jared, left, left, left. Jared, go left, go left, go left, left, left. Yeah. Oh, oh Jared, we got a big barge coming. I don't even think they could see us. They're, they might be trying to get up into this channel. He's on his his radio. Yeah, it looks like he's doing it. They're turning in here. Oh man, look at how close he is to that. He's gonna hit it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're like, yeah. Just sitting there. That guy didn't even move. He's just like, yeah, it happens every day. Oh, yeah, right? Now, when you're fishing like this, you want to keep your eyes always out, always looking around, because even with the four of us, uh, some of these barges almost sneaked up on us, and, uh, you know, they move really fast through these canals, so you really got to keep your heads up. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, not bad. Yeah, keep it. All right. He's probably nine, but whatever. Yeah, we'll keep some nine. 
So despite all the hardships of wind, getting all the way to barges and other fishermen, uh, you know, we caught a lot of fish. Uh, we threw a yeah, lot we back, but we also Holy got God. a lot of good fish. Our average was about 10 Watch inches to 11.5, so, um, you know, it was pretty good. But as you can see here, we're just being blown all over the place. And uh, you can't set an anchor out here because it's too dangerous. You can't be fixed. So um, Jared did a great job of navigating the boat and the rest of us did a really good job of keeping our eyes out and making sure we didn't get any danger. But um, overall it was pretty wild, but luckily the bite was real hot. Yeah, it's tiny, but it's decent. Oh yeah, that's not bad, it's not bad. It's not bad. Double header though. Double, double key. Oh, it did look. Okay, this one's topping out. Right at 11. Alright guys, so that's it for the day. Uh, you know, I want to thank Jared and my his girlfriend and his dad. They took me out, they showed me with the ropes, and uh, I feel like a much better perch fisherman. I think I'm a little bit addicted. Um, it was an exciting day, dodging big barges and taking in the scenery. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, please like and subscribe, and you know, let me know how your day goes. How, how do you fish your perch? What are your techniques? Or did you find what we did in this video applicable to what you do? Um, you know what? This is a good time, and I really hope to have time to go out and do this again. And uh, you know what, guys? Be safe out there and tight lines.